this is Michelle Knight, and this is the Astrological Update for Fabulous Aquarius for the week starting the 18th of February. Now, you Aquarians are go-getters. Even if you save it up, you might not do anything for years, and suddenly you'll come up with a magnificent idea because you are ahead of your time. In fact, I was only listening to Radio 4 today, and, so, and the, statistically, that in their list of most powerful women, Aquarians really were percentage-wise shown much more than some of the other signs, although Aries and Libra also figured. You are someone that can achieve something no matter what's going on in your life because your mind understands and takes in information much quicker and much faster than other people. And this week, you're feeling grounded. It's like all of a sudden, you trust yourself. Sometimes with all that mental activity, you can feel yourself speeding ahead and you feel a bit spaced out or you haven't got your feet on the ground. This is a fabulous week for you because you are very, very grounded and very, very still. You've dug some very solid foundations and now they are coming home to roost. The sun is going into a position of rooted, grounded stability, which is, again, something unfamiliar for you, but you love it. If there's something you've been doing, you could find that you're going to the next level now. You're moving forward with a sense of, yeah, you know, I feel solid, I feel okay. You don't have to sort of leap ahead. You can build those ideas and, and build it future-proof, whatever you're doing, even if it's not something you're doing career-wise, but how you're viewing your self-esteem, your relationships. This energy can be used in lots of ways. Now, Saturn, the Lord of Responsibility, is going retrograde, connected to your career. So in a way, actually, you're, you're being thinking about your career and going, okay, I understand where I am today and where I need to go. So this is a great energy for you. It's very chilled out. It's very solid. We then have the Sun and Neptune giving you some bright ideas. You're dreaming of the future, but you're also, which is the key thing, understanding how to make it happen in rock solid reality. We also have a grand water trine on the 23rd. That's very emotional for all of us. And for you, it's about honoring yourself, actually, and, and understanding that you've been through a lot. And you're probably more vulnerable than you realize, but you're seeing that now. So you're taking care of yourself in a new way. And by doing that, you're able to share yourself more deeply, but in a safer way. Now, we end the week with Mercury, the planet of communication, going retrograde, going backwards. And it's saying to you, look to the past. When did you feel insecure? What scenario were you in when you, when you felt ungrounded? And now that you do feel secure or you're about to feel secure, what is the difference? You can reflect on the past this week and look and see things perhaps that you didn't see before from a different perspective. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.